Hello viewers, I am Pushpendas Gupta. Welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about Certificate of Good Standing. Why is it required? What is it? And what role does it play in the General Medical Council registration process? So if you have passed MRCS and you are now looking to emigrate to the United Kingdom, you are about to begin your General Medical Council registration process, you should know about the Certificate of Good Standing. Certificate of Good Standing is basically a certificate stating that you have practiced medicine as you were supposed to. Who will issue the certificate? This certificate will be issued by the State Medical Council where you have been working. So, for the purpose of registration with the General Medical Council, you need to provide your employment history for the preceding five years. For example, if you are applying for registration with the General Medical Council in the UK in 2024, your employment history 2019 onwards should be provided to the General Medical Council. Now the General Medical Council will know that you have worked in X number of st states, so they will be expecting X number of certificates of good standing. If you have worked in five different states, they will be expecting five certificates of good standing. One issued each by each state medical council. Now why will a state medical council issue it? They will issue it because they are the ultimate authority which decides whether you have been working properly as a doctor or not. If you have been working improperly, the punitive authority is the state medical council that can suspend your license, withdraw your license, issue other forms of punishment. So basically it states, it tells general medical council that your work as a doctor has remained unimpeachable. This can only be certified by a state medical council. Now in India what happens is when you are moving from one state to another, you may have had worked you may have worked as a doctor before getting registration with that particular state say you were applied for registration and you had joined as a doctor you worked for a few weeks and then you got the registration so maybe for a month you worked without registration in that particular state what happens to that period for that period you need to provide a gen 1 form gen 1 gen 1 form which will be which will be uh, filled up by your supervisors, your boss or your employer and this will also state that in that period you worked in, a, in an impeccable fashion basically. So certificate of good standing is particularly important and how it is issued varies from state medical council to state medical council. For example, in the state medical council that I was registered with or I am registered with, that state medical council sent the certificate of good standing directly to the general medical council. When I went to the State Medical Council office and I asked them about this, they asked me whether I had started the General Medical Council registration process or not. I said I haven't because if I start the General Medical Council registration process, it has a finite window. I think it is about one month or two months within which you have to complete the entire process. If you don't complete the entire process within that stipulated time, then you have to pay that application fees once more. I had to pay application fees of 433 British pounds for General Medical Council registration and I did not want to pay it more than once. That is why I first went to the State Medical Council to get the Certificate of Good Standing. But my State Medical Council said that you have to provide a GMC reference number, a 7 digit number which can only be provided once you start the GMC registration process. To which I asked them that what if I start the process and you end up taking a lot of time and I run out of the stipulated time window and I end up having to pay the application fees all over again. They were kind enough to reassure me that it doesn't take them long, about two to three business days in which they would issue the certificate of good standing. They'll send it directly to the General Medical Council and I'll also get a copy of the email. As it turned out, the day I applied for a certificate of good standing after having started the General Medical Council registration process, I got the email on the same day itself. So I started GMC registration process on, on one day and three days later my GMC registration process was complete. So it was quite seamless. If you have any questions regarding this process, please feel free to reach out to me. However, I want to point out that General Medical Council website is very lucid and clears out most doubts and the certificate of standing is something which uh, is issued in a different way by different state medical councils so it is better to get in touch with them however i am always available to get back to you if you have any doubts so please feel free to reach out to me i hope this video helped you take care bye bye and please don't forget to be awesome